My name is Rich Robin, founder and owner of Gator Pit of Texas in Houston, Texas. I'm going to walk you through this nice custom rig that we designed for MLN here in Houston, Texas. It is a custom design. You won't find this on our website. We designed it from scratch based on what they told us they wanted. This is what we came up with. This pit goes out tomorrow. I'll give you a review of it right now. All right, the overall dimensions of this trailer, you got a five foot bed. The overall width, outside fender to outside fender is gonna be seven feet. We've got a total length of about 17 feet. We've got a wingspan of 14 feet. That's with the folding roof opened up. So you got 14 foot of coverage here, keeping you out of the sun, the heat, the rain. Uh, it provides a lot of shade for you, all right? And a lot of protection in inclement weather. I'm gonna start with the front of it right here. We've got a 24 by 48 long charcoal grill. This charcoal grill has multi-level grates inside to move that charcoal grate from the bottom up to the top, giving you more of a searing effect if you want to do some steaks or ribeyes up there. All right, we've got dual gauges. We've got dual gator pit stacks, the birdhouse type that we're known for. We've got dual stainless steel cool touch handles. They don't rot, they don't break, they don't rust. It's easy to open. It's got a door stop and a counterweight in the back. On the inside here, we've got a full 24 by 48 long food tray. That food tray is split in half. So you don't have to pull out a huge 24 by 48 grate. You're only gonna have to take out, if you need to remove this, a 24 by 24. Again, times two. You got a full 10 inch front shelf that's fixed. Quarter inch thick steel. You move it on down over here. We've got a 24 by 24 by four foot tall upright. That's four feet from the bottom food rack to the top of this upright. We've got dual birdhouse stacks that go out the roof and they're adjustable. They're birdhoused up there as well. You've got a custom company logo. Again, this, is, this pit was designed and built for MLN. You've got dual gauges, top to bottom. You've got dual stainless steel handles. You have door locks. You got five sliding food racks in here. A lot of meat capacity in your upright. And yes, it's an upright. It's six feet away from the main chamber and you can cook in this gator pit. It's designed and the heat's evenly distributed and forced down to get this upright into the cooking temperature ranges of 200 plus degrees. This isn't just a warmer on this gator. It's made to cook. All these racks are framed out in one inch angles. The racks are interchangeable. You can take this rack here, put it up there, that rack, put it here. They'll go anywhere in any of these slots you want. Moving over to the horizontal main chamber. You've got our gator gauges, our fully flanged doors, all the stuff that we're known for is quality, uh, uh, tight door seals, it's on this gator. So I'm not even gonna get into all that. Everybody knows gator pit and their quality. I'm gonna get into just the nice custom features of this aside from our standard quality. Again, six foot long, 72 inches, 24 inches in diameter, the fully flanged doors. You've got upper and lower sliding meat racks that are framed in one inch angles. These things are heavy. I mean, I can sit on it, it's not gonna bend. You can put all the meat on here you want. I'm 206 pounds, all right? The rack didn't even bend. You're not gonna bend my racks with meat. Again, these racks are interchangeable left to right. If I wanna move this rack over there, I can. Same thing with the upper racks. You've got that ability to rotate these racks around if you need to. Don't know why, but you can, if you want to, you can. We've got tuning plates inside here. Those tuning plates evenly distribute that heat throughout this horizontal main chamber that's six feet long, two feet deep, and those tuning plates allow the temperatures in this upright to get to 200 plus degrees to be able to cook in. There's no wasted cooking space in this gator pit. You've got the fully flanged doors on the inside and the outside, our heavy duty hinges, our commercial gauges, and you've got a really nice long 12 inch stainless steel brushed front shelf. It's got one inch bins in the front, welded corners, solid. It's an extremely nice shelf. It's large enough to put your meat pans. I can set a meat pan here 
or me paying right here in the middle, put meat off and on and still be able to open my doors without the meat pan interfering with my doors. That 12 inch shelf will do that for you. We've got our tandem axles. We've got our teardrop in the middle of our fenders here. Tandem axles, 3,500 pound capacity tandems. That's 7,000 pound capacity carry. 15 inch wheels. You've got 205, 75 rated tires. They're trailer rated tires. They're a heavy tire. You've got our universal light kit. License plate light, license plate holder. On the back side, what fuels this cooker? A 24 by 24 quarter inch thick, double wall, double plated, insulated cooker. The insulation is 2300 degrees ceramic fiber inside those double quarter walls all the way around, okay? Including the wall, including the wall that butts up to your main chamber. That wall back there is insulated as well. A lot of guys don't do that. We insulate the whole thing around right here. On this door, you've got a half inch thick. I mean, that is thick open that up and you can see how thick this wall is. That's a half inch thick door. It's franced out to keep it from leaking with a quarter inch thick flat bar all the way around. When this door closes, it is nice and tight and it doesn't leak and it retains the heat that gets the fire over here that allows you to be able to cook easily, burn less fuel, longer burn times and get that upright up to temperatures combined with our tuning plate design. You've also got gas assist going to it. There's a half inch pipeline, half inch black gas pipeline running from the front to the back and here's the ball valve for it. This controls your flame inside the firebox. And there is a burner in here. You light that with a stick lighter? You don't have to use lighter fluid or charcoal to get this pit going. You put your logs in there, you crank the gas up, you let it run for about probably 15, 20 minutes on this big cooker and you're up to temp and you're cooking. It's that fast. And this is the big pit. Our slide air intake vents, these are what I call the diamond cuts. Again, half inch thick, quarter inch thick wall on the sliding plate here for the diamond cut. Air vents. Inside, you've got an extremely heavy duty charcoal grate. Grate is quarter inch thick steel, framed out in one and a half inch angles. And it's reinforced in the middle with one inch angle to minimize or prevent the middle of this grate under heat stress from sagging. It makes this fire grate last twice to three times longer than without this bar in the middle or this angle in the middle. Why do we do that? Because Gator Pit knows how to make steel last. That's why we warranty our pits for a lifetime and you get it in writing. Again, you're, all your doors on this trailer pit, they all lock for safety and security. You can padlock them. We're going to supply you with uh, uh, removable locks. If you want to buy padlocks and put padlocks on there, keep anybody from stealing anything in the side of it, you can do that. We got an overhead storage. Aluminum, diamond plate, weatherproof box, push button, opens and closes. It's a dry storage. Put your spices, your seasonings, whatever you want up there. You want storage on a pit? We maximize the space that we have on this trailer rig to give you as much storage capacity as possible. You can never have enough storage on a trailer rig. You've got to haul a lot of gear when you're out catering or entertaining. Tables, chairs, canopies, easy up type canopies. A lot of gear goes with it. A lot of seasoning and spices and rubs, et cetera, go with it. You've got overhead storage. This door actually drops down. It's locked up there right now. But this door drops down. It's a 14 inch door. You can put folding six foot tables in here. You can put your chairs in there. You can put your easy ups in here. You can probably get in here about five or six easy ups if you needed to. You can get a lot of folding six foot tables in there. If you stack these tables up, you're looking at one, two, you're looking at three to four tables on this side here and three to four on this side and you can do the same thing on the other side. That's a lot of table space. If you're catering, you need that. All right, we've got full electrical in this trailer. We've got a four way outletter here with GFI set up. You got a pigtail. Uh, here that plugs in for a generator for a power source or an extension cord uh, to run to it. So any type of power source like a generator or plug it in from your house with an extension cord to this will work. Uh, if you're out in the field somewhere, uh, hook it up to a generator. You're going to have power. That's going to run power to your, your main box here, which is going to run your water heater. 
and then you can plug up anything else in here, electric knives, whatever you want. From there, the power source runs out to three other outlets. There are three other outlets on each of the other three corners, so you've got power anywhere, anywhere you're at around this trailer. <coughs> if you want to hook up halogen lights that clip on, what I would do and what I do with my Renegade is I'd run a cord from here and I would have clip on halogens on all four sides. Halogens make it extremely easy to clip onto the roof, the, the, the rails or supports for the roof, to give you light anywhere you want and they're adjustable. That's what we did here for these guys here to give them that. I prefer that over actually putting in permanent lighting because what happens on a trailer bouncing down the highway, the bulbs bust. Or if you're using the fluorescence, the fluorescent covers usually fall out and crack and break. And then the bulbs break. So we do uh, this style of lighting in, our, in most of our pits, you know, unless the customer wants to specify something different. But that's what we do. But the main thing is to give these guys power no matter where they're at on the side of this trailer, front or back, left and right, they've got somewhere to plug power into. Hook a stereo up. You can do anything you want with it. You've got the power to do it. Getting into the, uh, the water system here. You've got a water heater that's two and a half gallons. It is electric. Again, that plugs in here to power it. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got a 25 gallon water tank for fresh water, a 12 volt diaphragm pump. This pump only operates off the RV battery, that we, uh, an RV marine battery. It's a 12 volt RV marine battery. That's positioned there. You can run days, uh, and I, I repeat, days off of that battery. Because this diaphragm pump is only gonna use power when you release the pressure in the sinks, like this. And then that battery kicks in. All right, or, or, or the pump kicks in using power from the battery. So it's not, it's not a continuous power to the battery or running power. It's only using power from the battery when you're running the water. You turn the water off, the pump shuts off once it pressurizes, and the, 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 the battery is not, you're not using the battery. You've got, again, the hot water heater, the fresh water tank, you've got a toggle switch to turn your pump off and on. You've got an RV drain tank down here. We've got a 25 gallon uh, fresh water tank. I've got a 32 gallon dirty water tank down here. It's got an RV valve on it, on the end down there, just like you would it on a camper or an RV. If you pull this right here, the water drains out, and there it goes. It's that simple. <coughs> you can buy an extended hose that will hook up to that to drain this at a commissary somewhere if you needed to. It's the same as a camper and RV. You've got the single bay hand wash sink. You got the two bay stainless steel sink with a gooseneck faucet on both of these. Get your pots up under here. Get your pans under here real easy. You got a deep dish here or deep sink. Um, moving on down. We have got your dual 160,000 BTU burners. You've got control valves that are independent to each of these burners. This valve controls that one, that valve controls that one. All your gas systems are independent of each other. So you, you don't have to have, there's not gas going where you have to have all these running at the same time. They're all independent, including from the, uh, the, the, the firebox in the back. 160,000 BTU burners. That's enough to fry turkeys or boil crawfish. We designed these burners. They're big burners, all right? They're designed to put 80 quart pots on there or even larger, okay? If you have a really huge pot, you can use both burners to run that big, massive pot, all right? If you've got a smaller pot, an 80 quart will, for the most part, fit on one burner. And you can still use the other burner for smaller pots. So you can do your beans, your crawfish, your fried turkeys, your putter rice. You can cook anything, fry your fish. You can do anything on these burners right here. They, they run low and they run high. With that insulated firebox and the design of Gator Pits heat distribution system in there with the tuning plates and other designs that we do on the interior of this pit to make it more fuel efficient, this small wood storage bin will hold enough wood to go two to three days depending on how hot you cook. But I can guarantee you, if I fill this up with wood, I can cook for two days straight on this pit. Again, overhead storage, 14 inch big door, big enough to get your easy ups in there, big enough and long enough for your folding tables, your chairs, just to haul a bunch of gear, you've got it. This roof folds. When you're going down the highway, it folds down and it locks in place. It makes contact with the four corners of the trailer 
and then there are locks that lock this roof in place. You're not gonna have to worry about this roof flying out open, uh, flying open on you. Let me say that again. This roof, expanded out right now, gives you a 14 foot wingspan. When you close it up, it locks at all four corners of the trailer. So you don't have to worry about this thing shaking, rattling, and rolling going down the highway. It's not gonna do all this number and make a bunch of racket down the highway, even with the wind shear. It's strongly secured. You're not gonna have to worry about my panels on my roof ripping off at 70 miles an hour down the highway. Why? Because we use a thick PBR PBU panel. These are metal building panels. These are the same panels that we use to build my metal building right here for my shop. These aren't sheet metal panels. Those ridges make it extremely strong to handle the wind and the wind shear going down the highway. That's a big difference between us and, and, and a lot of other pit builders out there. Again, we know what people are doing with these trailers. They're not driving the speed limit down the highway for the most part. They're hauling ass. And usually you're late getting somewhere. So they're really hauling ass. We know that. That's why we build gator pit quality. All right, I wanna talk a little bit about our trailer. We custom build every trailer ourselves right here in my gator pit shop. We don't buy utility trailers somewhere else from some trailer dealer or manufacturer somewhere else. We build everything right here at my shop. Why do we do that? Because we can't find the quality elsewhere that we have here at Gator Pit to put all of this on a trailer. So we build the trailer ourselves and we custom build the trailer based on what's going on the trailer. So everything looks custom made and not like we bought a trailer and put a pit on it. You'll never see that with Gator Pit. We don't do that. Everything we build ourselves. Again, the quality. You got a two inch bulldog on here. Top notch, coupler. You've got a screw jack, removable swivel wheel. You've got a breakaway box, 12 volt break breakaway box. This box, Lord forbid, should the trailer ever come off your truck, this box is, is designed and, and, and made to lock your trailer tires up to stop your trailer going down the highway. That is a huge safety issue or safety factor. You don't want your trailer passing you up so it come off your truck. In a big trailer like this, depending on how fast you're going, you can always risk busting these safety chains. But you got safety chains as well, all right? You got hangers to keep them out of the way rather than wrapping around your tongue or having these things drag on the ground. You've got, again, back in the back, the tandem axles, electric brakes. Again, gator pit quality, trailer frame. We make this thing ourselves. Two inch by three inch by quarter inch thick square tubing, all right, or box tubing. That's what the entire trailer frame is made out of, all the way down, and it's reinforced with more of this across it, okay, going from passenger side to driver's side. This trailer is beefy, it's strong. It goes back to the same thing I was telling you while we build this roof the way we build it. It's made to handle the, the, the abuse. It's made to handle traveling 2,000 miles across the country. Why do we do that? Because we know our customers are doing that. We make them last. Propane tank holder. This locks your propane tank, your LP tank. It'll hold up to a 30 pound tank. 20 pounder, 30 pounder. You've got a quick connect. This makes it extremely easy to connect your propane tank. There are no tools required to disconnect and connect a propane tank on our gator pits. They all get this type of propane tank regulator hose. It's got its own valve to control the flames. Here are the pressure rather because at each of the burners you have a valve to control the flame at each of the burners. On this side each burner has its own control valve. The firebox in the back on that side has its own control valve. Hook your tank up, turn your valve on, go back there, turn your gas on, start cooking. It's that simple guys. I'm Rich Robin. I'm the founder and owner of Gator Pit of Texas in Houston, Texas. We can design anything that you can think of, dream of. The limitation is only your imagination. Give me a call, 713-896-0144, or email me at info at gatorpit.net. Give me a call, ask for me, Rich Robin. I'll be happy to talk to you. We'll design a pit for you to meet your budget, to meet your needs. It'll be quality, unsurpassed, all right? Give me a call. Thank you.